Hey, what's up? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So Dr. Dre has revealed he had doubts about performing at Super Bowl until he spoke to Jay-Z and Nas. During a recent interview on Work Out the Doubt podcast, the hip-hop mogul revealed he was in two minds about the February halftime show over fears of looking like a sellout. I got on the phone with Nas. He called me up. It was like, yo, bro, you know, you know, Nas has that voice. Yo, bro, you got to do it. You got to do this. It's going to be so powerful for fucking hip hop, for the culture, for you, for L.A. and the whole nine. So we were on the phone for like 10 minutes and he talked me into doing it. So Nas and Jay-Z were big reasons why I decided to do the show. The NFL have drawn criticism over Colin Kaepernick's exile from the league after taking a knee during the national anthem to protest racial inequality and police brutality in the U.S. But after having conversations with Hove and Esco, Dre was convinced that putting on the performance was a good decision. Dr. Dre ended up performing alongside Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, 50 Cent, Mary J. Blige, and Anderson Pack at Inglewood SoFi Stadium, soundtracking the Los Angeles Rams 23-20 victory over the Cincinnati Bengals. The all-star ensemble treated the crowd to classics such as the next episode, Still DRE, and Tupac's California Love. The performance went on to receive five nominations at the 2022 Primetime Emmy Awards. Snoop previously revealed Jay-Z told the NFL that Dre and Co. had to perform at the Super Bowl or he'd quit his role as the league's live music entertainment strategist. We love each other. Like, not secretly, like publicly. We love each other. It is what it is. So it's like for him to go to bat for us and tell the NFL F that, they perform or I quit, that was the most gangster-ish out of everything. Then with attire and kneeling and all this, you can't wear your gangbang-ish, Jay-Z hit me like, wear what the F you want to wear. Peace to the gods. In April, Nori claimed Eminem told Hov he refused to perform at the Super Bowl without 50 Cent. Now, Snoop, let me be clear. Let me be clear. So I I hit the homie, the big homie Jay-Z, right? And I told him to come pull up on me. Mm. And he pulled up on me. And this is exactly, I swear to God, my nephew, where my nephew at? I, I, he, he right here to the left. I said to my nephew, I said, yo, listen, I have to ask him this straight up. So I said, yo, why, who is the people that's on um, NFL? And, the, and he said to me, and I'm sorry for anybody who don't understand, and he said, the white guy called for, for 50 cent. Mm. So I said, who's, who's the white guy? I'm, I'm digging this Jimmy Iovine. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, Eminem called directly for 50. And he said, that's his guy. He said, I can't do it if I can't bring 50 up. But that's his guy. Now, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. And guess who's Dre's guy? 50 Cent responded to the claim at the time, saying, why would he have to say that should be the question? Nori, your big homie is running around trying to look like a gay painter. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.